you oftentimes just let it sit mm-hmm. if you have to. If the current allows that, you can let it sit. And that usually that that's in a case where you're able to sight fish. So when you're able to actually see a smallmouth, say, I'm going to fish to that smallmouth, see your fly, and you can play cat and mouse with that smallmouth. You can let that thing sit there. And oftentimes that's the most effective way to do it. Just but leaving it alone. Just leaving it alone. Right. When it comes to, like, investigate, give it a slow twitch. Yeah. I mean, just, like, move it a quarter of an inch. Um, and that oftentimes is, a, is all it takes. He'll, yeah. he'll come up on it just four inches away from it, and then you'll do a slow twitch, and then he'll freak out, and he'll, and he'll gulp it right down. Take so it. Um, awesome. oftentimes that's, that's all it takes. But in the situations where maybe you're fishing a deeper, faster run, and you can't sight fish, letting that thing just tumble, just tumble on the bottom. Now, if it's, it's, if it's not off the bo- on the bottom, it's not going to work. It is a useless fly if mm. it's not on the bottom. You got to be all the way down. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's got to be on the bottom. I don't think I've ever caught a smallmouth on a crawfish pattern off the bottom of the creek. Yeah. So it's got to be on the bottom. But if it's tumbling like a crawfish caught in the current, um, it's another great way to, to work it. Now, to do that, we do, me and Dwayne like to describe it as check nymphing at a distance. Okay. So, um, out west, Euro nymphing, while I was out there guiding, Euro nymphing became all the rage. Mm-hmm. So, I had to learn how to do that so I could guide people on that. Yeah. Um, but essentially, you're tight lining right in front of you, you know, right below your, your fly rod. Um, but with the creek crawler, you're doing the same thing, but at a distance. So what you're doing is you're, you're casting, um, what I actually like to do is cast beyond where I want to fish and basically lift my rod, drag and drop. Mm. And that sends that crawfish straight to the bottom and then I'll come tight to it. And basically it's on the bottom. Now I have, I'm in contact with the fly and I can feel it tumbling and I'm kind of just holding the fly rod up parallel with the, with the water, nice and high. And I can just feel it tumbling along the bottom, and then you'll feel a tap, 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 and then set the hook. Yeah. You got a smallmouth on. 